is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Good afternoon, Shark Kinetics from around the world, and welcome to another edition of the Sharks Nine Ball Showdown. This is a 10 man ring game featuring 10 of the best amateur pool players here at Sharks Billiards. Today's Wednesday, December 7th of 2022 at exactly 2.31 in the afternoon here in Manila, Philippines. This is brought to us by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Time Sports Bar, and Andy Billard Cloth. Let's meet the players for today's action. We have Efren Gaviola, player number one, our real estate broker from Manila, known as Mang E, averaging 3.86 points per game with three championships and two second place finishes, coming from our third season stats covering July to September of 2022. Once again, player number one, Efren Gaviola. He's going up against player number two, known as the Dreamer, Joseph David. He is a businessman from Quezon City, averaging 3.79 points per game with one championship, one second, and two third place finishes, covering our third season stats from July to September of 2022. Once again, introducing player number two, Joseph David. Okay, here we go. Let's get the party started. Player number one to break. And this break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Parehas and Laban Shark Anatics, walang partidahan between Efren Gaviola and Joseph David. To batin lang natin ang ating mga Shark Anatics. Over at Facebook, we have Rafi Christian rooting for Jordan. Ang uh, ating player number seven is si Jordan Lee. One of the uh, new players dito sa Sharks together with our player number eight. Uh, today is his debut ni uh, Paolo Villapando. Mamaya mapapanood nyo siya. Ha? Isa rin napakagaling na player. Rokas, good luck mga kuis. Ayan. Boy Chamba, magandang hapon sa iyo. Henry, uh, ano to? Kantorski, the fourth. Does Johan play tonight? Yes, he will play tonight against Kyle Amoroto in a race to 60 battle. Our day one ended with a score of 30 to 17 in favor of Kyle Amoroto. To see Derek Joel D. Guzman rooting for a sep. Baka si ano to ha, Joseph David. Henry Kontorski, the fourth. How many hours before they play? Not really sure. It really depends on the outcome of this 10-man uh, ring game. So this is a race to nine. Whoever gets to uh, nine points first will be declared our champion. And then right after this, of course, we'll be heading on to our main event featuring Johan Chua going up against our 2022 Philippine 10 ball open champion, Kyle Amoroto.
nice shot there. Containment safety. Efren Gaviola thinking about going for a bank shot to the side. Thanks for the compliment, Henry Kontorski. Oh, look at that beautiful shot. Unfortunately, cue ball, scratch to the side. Nako, sayang yun for Mang E. That would have been another magical shot by our player number one. Ayun nga lang, maagang regalo for Joseph the, uh, David, uh, the dreamer. Ball in hand sa Shete. There you go, the Dreamer gets our very first point for today's action. Sayang naman yung dobleting yun no, ni uh, Mang E. But he will uh, definitely be uh, coming back sa ating round number two. Ito, yung dobleting yun, no? Ganda sana. The, the Dreamer inubos yung nalalabing tatlong bola. And up next, we'll be having our player number three, known as Uncle Larry, our businessman from Mandaluyong, averaging 3.58 a game with two championships, two second and two third place finishes from our third season stats. Once again, Larry Lim versus Joseph David, Parehas and Laban, Shark Kinetics. Henry Kantorski, the fourth. This is it. This is the poster uh, for uh, our main event later this evening. A one on one battle featuring Yohan Chua and Kyle Amoroto. We ended our day one. The score of 30 to 17 in favor of Kyle Amoroto. Later will be the conclusion of this race to 60 match between Chua and Amoroto. Score is one zip in favor of Joseph David. Player number three next to challenge our player number two. This break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Possible break and run out here for Joseph David. Ang ganda ng kanyang sargurun. Oh, oh, what do you gonna 
mag-scrunch. Kita pa kaya ba itong 6? Parang hindi nakita ha. So, babanda dito si The Dreamer. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh, good shot naman. But, not a good result for The Dreamer as this green 6 is now available to the side for player number 3. Is he gonna make this? Oh yes, he did. Well, not intended, but he's gonna take it. much draw action there led to this instead of the corner pocket he's gonna take this nine to the side And there you go, Larry Lim gets his first point by stopping the dreamer, Joseph David. Wow. Ito, no? Nung nagkamali ng posisyon, si the dreamer doon from 5 going to the 6. Larry Lim took advantage of it. Our next player will be player number four, known as the moneymaker, Matt Hidalgo. Averaging 2.50 points per game, still seeking for his first ever Sharks Championship. Once again, our businessman from Quezon City, the moneymaker, Matt Hidalgo, parehas ang laban contra Larry Lim right after this. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Battle for Supremacy, this coming December 19 to 22. Atin sa inyo ito ng Bugsy Promotions, Andy Builder Cloth, BMPAP, Hard Times, and Cold Junkies. So far, David at Lim pa lamang po nakaka-score. But Larry Lim will remain on the table as he'll be challenged by our player number 4 na si Matt Hidalgo, the moneymaker. Parehas po ang kanilang laban dito, Shark Kinetics. Walang partidahan. So here we go, player number three to break. 
This break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Dry break for Uncle Larry, pero mahirap ang ubus dito because of that 2-9 cluster. Sumama pa yung 8, ano? Great pot there, and look at that. Broke the 2-9 cluster. At nagkaroon ng pasok tuloy itong dos to the corner. That was a great shot by the moneymaker. Using the 8 and the 9 as stoppers. Uh, still has a shot on the 3. The challenge here is how can he uh, hold off position from 3 to the 4. He may use lots of left spin here and then go to rails. Attention. Not sure if that's what he's going to do here. Maybe just go up and down the table. Oh, and just pockets the three ball and looks like he'll be playing safe on this four. Yeah. Okay na rin. Containment safety. Though hindi tagong tago. Pero mahirap ito for Uncle Larry. Likod ng nuebe, not this time as Uncle Larry left a possible 4-6 combo here for the money maker. Oh, nicely done, but what about the pink four? Mukhang nakaharang itong siyete. Okay, well, di na pabor, ano, yung 4 after that 4-6 combo. Not a bad leave, dahil mahirap naman itong 4, uh, mukhang nakaharang yung 8. So, safety behind the 8. Wow. Perfect speed control there by Larry Lim. Although, kayang bandahan itong kwatro using the foot rail uy kaya palang direct hit ano? though many piece nice counter safety although kita eh, mahirap itong mapashoot ano? via a bank Maybe. Maybe a thin cut to the corner or just plain safe for the meantime behind the seven. Oh, great effort there. Larry Lim, talagang iniingatan yung kanyang turn dito. He wants to overtake Joseph David para masungkit niya yung top spot, ano? But of course, that wouldn't be easy if you're going up against the money maker.
Oh, look at the nine. Oh, <laughs> a shot by the money maker. Grabe yun, ha? Hindi natin ini-expect. Only the money maker siya lang ang uh, nakakaalam, no? Kung uh, pangyayaring yun, grabe. Nasungkit ang Nuebe for his first point. Look at this. Bank to the nine. At uh, napa, ano, napa-wave siya doon as sign of apology. Kung hindi naman talaga uh, aim ni uh, Matt na mapashoot yun, ano. But he'll take it for his first point. Susunod na po, George Ong, a.k.a. Zima Tarsi, our contractor from Quezon City versus the moneymaker Matt Hidalgo right after this. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. December 10, 11, and 12. Mark your social calendars, Shark Kinetics, as the, the Kaiser Ralph Suke will be challenging our very own, the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. This is brought to us by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Times, and Andy Billard Cloth. First appearance for today for George Ong, a.k.a. Zima Tarsi. Well, beautiful safety there by George Ong using the 5 and the 8. So, pwede bumanda dito si Matt. Just needs to avoid hitting the 7. Okay, nicely done. Was able to avoid hitting the 7 there. Look at this available shot to the corner for this blue two.
and he makes the six ball. Kaso nga lang, unfortunate landing for the cue ball since it, it landed behind the nine. Possible two real kick here for George Ong. So far, so good for George Ong here. Last three balls to stop the moneymaker here in round number one. Look at that. A miss on the nine by George Ong. Nagkabaligtad ang pangyayari. Imbis na yung 9 ang pumasok. It was the cue ball. And early Christmas gift for Zima Tarsi. As he sinks his 9 ball for his first point. Ano mga ngiti, ano? Mala Jojo Sanchez ang ngitian, ano? Up next is player number six, known as Vince the Prince. Vincent Cheng. Parehas ang laban contra George Ong right after this.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. December 15 to 17, the Kaiser Ralph Suke versus the Bad Koi Johan Chua. Race to 63 match brought to us by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Times, and Andy Billard Cloth. Tabla, tabla. So far, ha? wala pang uh, nakakadalawang puntos. Ano? Tabla sa uh, one point, sila David Lim, Hidalgo, and Ong. But Vincent Cheng, our incoming challenger, looking to get his first point to stop George Ong from taking the lead. Break. This break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Vincent Chang, his first appearance for today. A shot on the one to the side. To batiin natin Vanya Kelly Chang. Ayan. Go, 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 Dada Vincent. Aba, saktong saktong comment ni Vanya. Ha? At kita mo naman, nashoot agad ni Dada Vincent atong uno. Very inspired. Maglaro itong si Vincent Cheng. At alam niya nga, todo suporta ang kanyang pamilya, no? Pag uh, nasasalang siya dito sa Sharks. Unfortunately, eh, masyadong malayo yung puti, no? At kailan niya mag-stretch para maabot yung tira sa dos. Which resulted to a miss. Here comes George Ong. Mm -hmm. This looks really tempting to take this 3-9 combo. Parang doon na nakasilip ha, itong si Zima Tarsi. Or maybe just go for the 3 instead and run towards the 6. Masyadong makapal. Iniwasan niya yung sa is. Nakompromise naman yung pocketing niya doon. Ayun. Nice shot there by Vincent Cheng. Nood lang kayo dyan ha. Vanya Kelly Chang. O oh, Cheng rather. <laughs> Sorry. Uy, sumabit sa 6. Ang tira sa 4. shot on the four but his position for the purple five considering the current location of the green six Oh, 
he made a 5, but unfortunately ran towards the 7 after hitting the second rail. Ito, batiin natin. Over at YouTube naman, we have the Yang Asonada also rooting for Sir Vincent Cheng. Aba, dami-daming fans naman. Dito ni Vincent Cheng. Ayan ha, pero of course, mahirap ang, uh, ang lagay niya dito dahil napakagaling ng kanyang kalaban. George Ong, double kisses. Doon sa green 6 at ito, chance for player number 6 na maubo sa mga bola dito. 4 balls remaining for his first point. Oof. A miscue there. Buti na lang at hindi bumenta ito sa east for George Ong. With George Ong here, he may play safe. No clear offensive option for George Ong. Pwedeng safety muna ito using the 9 or the 7. Yun nga yung plano niya, no? But uh, medyo napahina lamang. Mukhang uh, pipinahan na ito ni Vincent Cheng to the corner. Makapal ang tinama. Will he get behind the seven? I don't think so. Looks like this is a sellout in favor of Zima Tarsi. Still good. Seven can still be taken to the side. Bounce off the foot rail. For the eight, he was the last scratch. Ayun, nicely done. Onting hatak na lang, and he'll be perfect for the nine. Get past the side pocket. Oh, was able to draw it back past the side pocket, but misses that eight to the corner. And this opens up for Vincent Cheng. Tuntira sa ocho to the corner as well. There you go in this nine ball for his first point. Vincent Cheng continuing the trend here in round number one. So far, yung ating mga challengers yung nananalo dito, no? And that nine ball is for you guys, Vanya Kelly Cheng and Yang Asunada. player is player number seven a freelancer from Quezon City Stirador Jordan Lee versus 
Vincent Chang with an 8-9 handicap right after this. Coming soon here at Sharks, the Fire Dragon Chen Jinglin versus the Kingpin Baseth Mukhalbat. Only here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. That break was brought to us by Andy Premier. Looking really nice here for Vincent Cheng. Aba eh, nabatak to kagabi. Guys, yan po ang tinig ng ating the one and only Professor Freeze, Aris Almario. Magandang hapon, partner. Magandang hapon. Maraming pre-nactis tong si Vincent Cheng last night. Alam mo, pansin ko ha, magandang uh, tinitira at performance so far nito ni Vincent Cheng. Mukhang nalesen na yung yung parang yung pressure na nararamdaman niya nung uh, unang araw niya dito sa Sharks ano That's right. And well last night talagang he put in the time on the pool table para para makaano siya no baka tira siya. Kaya pala kapraktisan mo to kagabi no. That's right. Dahil uh, ito nga pinaghahanda niya itong 10 man ring game natin. Unfortunately Sells out the seven ball for one Air of our Jordan. new players. Nice yes, to see Air Jordan. Nice to see him back here. Yes, his airness, Jordan Lee, aka Stirador. Eto ingat lang dahil partida bolito ni Vincent Cheng. Medyo na bitin pa itong si Jordan. Oh, yun nga sinasabi natin. And in a just a matter of a few seconds, we'll be having a new leader by the name of Vincent Cheng. This shot right here for his second point. Well, he changed his mind there. I thought he was trying to use the bridge. Okay, there you go, Vincent Cheng with two. Another gift. 
Alam mo, nalalapit na talaga ang Pasko eh, no? Cute na ito ni Vincent Cheng, natuwa ko dun siya. <laughs> sa, ano, tiririt mo eh, no? Ay, nako, talaga itong ating kaibigan na si Vincent Cheng never uh, fails to, ano, amuse us here. Ito, first timer, no? This... This guy is the champion of the re- in 2016 nung San Miguel Nine Ball Tournament. Yes, uh, he knows sa iba't ibang mga binyana, no? Si Paolo Villapando. Ayan, si Nino. Nino rin to eh. His nickname. A dog breeder by his business from Cainterisal, the underdog. Aba, parang narinig ko na dati yan eh. Anyway, he's coming up next. Tiger Carlo Biado and Chang Jung Lin soon here at Sharks. Abang abang po natin to and Jervy Nang. Malakas po talaga ang dating ng mga commentators natin, especially when we are doing our job here. Talaga na ikisa ba yung mga sublay yun? Eh, no? Oh, no. Di naman natin sa ini wish na mangyari ano? Yung mga possibilities lang eh. Ayun nga. Minsan nakakatotoo. Pero look at this, Vincent Cheng now leads the pack with two points. Broke the trend there. At uh, tignan natin kung atong uh, si Paolo Villapando will be successful in his debut here at Sharks. This is his first ever rack dito sa Sharks. And he's gonna be handing the eight ball as a handicap in favor of Vincent Cheng. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Ito talaga si Vincent Cheng. Oh. Kala ko eh, tototohanin na yung ano eh. Biglang inangat yung tako eh. Magmamala, mag-aala Efren yata. It's still good. Kita naman itong tres. Ito ha, panoorin nyo ito ang ating bagong player, Paolo Villapando with the ball in hand. And Paolo Villapando, ninyo rin yan. Panlimang ninyo natin Pang ito, partner. <laughs> Kaya nga. Eh, no? We have ninyo Mulak, ninyo Ocampo, ninyo Uwingo, ninyo Jordan. <laughs> ninyo Jordan. <laughs> And this guy, Paolo Nino Villapando. Ayan na nga. No? So, ulitin ko lang. No? This, he was the champion back in 2016 doon sa San Miguel Amateur Tournament. Kung saan yung pwede ka sumali, all you have to do is just bring bottle caps. Yung sumali tayo, partner. Yes, I can still remember that tournament. One of the best na nasa lian ko rin. Ano? Dahil nagkaroon tayo ng chance to meet the greatest of all time, Efren Bata Reyes. And we were fortunate enough, no, to share uh, the table against uh, the great Efren Batareyes. Well, he's gonna be lucky here. Ting na motoman, no. Ah. Bump the nine. Still nice on the eight. He just needs to draw his cue ball back. Needs to avoid a possible miscue here. 
Medyo naninibago lang ako kasi I usually see him wearing headgear. Oh, nako. nako. Mukhang mag-aala Efren siya dito sa nuwebing ito. That's right. Back to the side for his first ever point dito sa Sharks. And there you go. Successful debut for Paulo Villapando winning his first ever rack dito sa Sharks. Up next, we just is one of our co-commentators here in the booth. He's up until 5 p.m. here. It's the Transporter 2021 Annual Champion. And, pero, naunahan na siya ni Ricky Sabalboro. Napalitan na yung Annual Champion. But he was the first Annual Champion of Sharks. That's Dennis Poe. Soon here, it's Robocop Dennis Arculio and the Fire Dragon Chang Jung Lin matching up here at the Mech of Pool. In a few moments, we're going to be seeing a matchup featuring Dennis Po and Paulo Villopando. First time here, Paulo Villopando, also known as Nino. Shapong sa Sargo. That's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Seems like he has a shot here on the one. Quite distant, but good thing. One is close to that pocket. Let's see if he can break and run out against the transporter. Look at this, backstroke, behind the back, Aba. wow, that was impressive. It's one thing to shoot behind your back, it's another thing to put a lot of force to get position. Right now, I think the four is going to be unavoidable. It's going to be a tough way getting position for the five. He's going to have to go around the table. Hope he doesn't scratch. Wow, look at this. 
stops on the dot. Perfect. But a bit too much force there. Now he's going to have to draw off the side rail. Or maybe avoid the 9. And it. Hatak na nga to. And this is going to be his last ball. Transporter Dennis Po. Doesn't seem like he's going to be getting a chance. Tough player here. Once again, magaling na player to. That's impressive. Welcome to Sharks, Paulo Villapando. We are on to our top seeded player. That's J. Cool Jaynard Orke, the businessman from Sampaloc, Manila. Very well known for his Orke Express, winning a number of times nine straight racks. Maraming best na niya ginawa yan. He's coming up next. Let's see if he can stop Paolo Villapando on getting ahead. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Winner of Top Guns earlier today, that's Christian Nagano, the songbird, or hindi po yan si Clark Kent or Superman. That is Christian Nagano, si Boy Awit, the songbird. Congratulations, Christian, for winning against Romulo Hufana and Jeffrey Peñaranda. And we have two players with two points. Initiative right now to overtake Vincent Cheng, Paolo Villapando. Let's see if he can replicate that break and run out he just came up with in the last track. Breaking from the same spot. Here we go. Again, this is brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth, Pool Table Cloth sponsor here at Sharks and at Hard Times Sports Bar. Look at this. Look at this. This is looking good. Somehow, I think he's going to have to play the two to the side. Thus, of course, he can spin the cue ball. Should be the two to the side, I believe. Going to maybe take the red three on the opposite corner pocket. Play for the short side position. Nope. I think he decided to play it on the corner in the bottom left of your screen. He just came up short. We can't be truly sure, but he can always play a safety. Let's see. There you go. That's the miss. Apparently, couldn't complete 
another break and run out is given the chance right now for Jaynard Orke. And he's going to be safe from that scratch. So he's going to have to put a bit of control here on this five. Has an angle. If he rolls this forward, he just might get too close to the six. Let's see. Well, he tried too much to put a bit of control there on that shot, causing him to miss. It's now just four balls for Villapando. Fairly straight here. Center of the table should be ideal for position. Doesn't need to get too perfect. Might run into the eight. Or might go to a scratch. Just be cautious. Made it go wide and he has landed for a bank. Well, there you go. Three balls left here for Jaynard Orque. A bit too bad for our first-timer, Nino Paulo Villapando. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get ideal position on the seven. Jaynard Orque will be playing the 8-9 combo for his first point. Efren Gaviola is up next. He is player number one. That means we're back to one and we are now on to the second round here at Sharks Nibbles Showdown. Stay tuned. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Congratulations to the winners winners of Shark Stendhal Showdown. Jonald Galve winning that. At second place, we have Jeffrey Ignacio and Brian Sagiped at third place. Congratulations to you guys. That's player four, player nine, and player two. And we are done with the first round of Sharks. Nine ball showdown. Still our leader. Vincent Chang with two points tied with Paulo Villapando apparently couldn't complete another break and run out against Jaynard Orke who has now his first point here. He's going to be breaking in a few moments.
Thanks once again to Andy for sponsoring our pool table cloth here. Professional tournament quality pool table cloth being used here at Sharks. Also at Hard Time Sports Bar. All tables there at Hard Times at 5090 Timog Avenue, Barangay South, Triangle, Quezon City. Have Andy Premier Billiard Cloths installed. And look at this. Ideal on the red three. Efren Gaviola after a scratch from Jaynard Orke. Just two balls left. This four to the side, possibly, or the corner. And there you have it. A run out. Up until the four, that is. To player number two, the dreamer Joseph David, businessman from Quezon City, is coming up next. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And winner a couple of nights ago on a one on one matchup that was Paul John Ladao, Egka as we all know him here at Sharks, winning against Michael Bawanan Mokong. Once again, congratulations to Paul John Ladao. And Efren Gaviola is going to be breaking. It's an even matchup featuring Joseph David and Efren Gaviola. Again, we would like to thank Andy Billiard Cloth for sponsoring us. Andy Premier here at Sharks. Well, Joseph David tried to get position on the red three. He broke up the cluster and landed for a kick. And this is going to be open for Efren Gaviola. Shot on the three. Let's see if he can get position from the three to the four. Nonetheless, he's going to have to run out, clean up, up until the nine.
safety battle ensuing. Erwin Gaviola and Joseph David just making sure of things here, not to sell out. Oh, the four will sell out. Apparently, it's really close to that pocket. Let's see if Efren Gaviola, well, he can definitely make that. How about position on the five? He's perfect. Well, uh, after a couple of misses from both players, the five is still up. Good. But it's gone now. Wow. Look at that shot. With position on the six. We're on the eight right now. Both players playing safeties to give themselves a chance to get another point. Oh, and nako, nag scratch pa dito si Mang E. The ball in hand for Joseph David. Okay, ties up now. Joseph David with Vincent Cheng and Paolo Villapando. Uncle Larry Lim, Uncle, coming up next. Race to 60 battle between Johan Chua and Kyle Amoroto. 30 to 17 po ang score natin in favor of Kyle Amoroto. Mamaya panorin natin kung makahabol pa kaya itong si Johan Chua. Let's find out only here at Sharks later tonight.
222 for our top three players, Cheng Villapando and David. Susunod pong maglalaban, Joseph David versus Larry Lim. Pareha sa anlaban, Sharkinatics. Nice break there brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth and Open on the One, Joseph David. Let's see if he can make this and get position for the blue too. Wow, going in between the rail and that too. Although he landed just fairly above the nine. That was still a great shot. Nice shot making there. Napahina. Still okay. Tirang natural lang. Six and seven. Possible same pocket here for Joseph David. Sinimplihan na lang. And we'll take this 7 ball to the side. Masyado malakas at masyado manipis partner, no? That's right. Could have been more ideal here on this nine ball. But no time to waste right now, Joseph David. Just make sure of things that he makes this nine go. Beautiful shot on the nine for his third point. Joseph David now at the top of our scoreboard with three points. Partner, that was a break and run out. Tingnan mo naman, no? Oh, Hindi nga pala, napatira, no? no? Yeah. Parang, parang yung ginawa kanina ni Nino Villapando. Impressive play here from Joseph David. Oh, hindi nakatira ha, si Uncle Larry Lim. Tignan natin kung magamit niya ang ochong partida dito ni Joseph David. Dahil he's going up against the one and only, the moneymaker. Player number four, Matt Hidalgo. Once again, meron pong 8-9 partida dito si Joseph David right after this.
At mangyayari na po dito sa Sharks ito ang kaganapan itong darating Desyembre 19. Ba't tagal na 19? Desinuebe? Yes, 12 days to go para dito sa ating Sharks Invitational featuring our top 32 players here in the Philippines led by the 2022 Philippine Tanbo Open champion na si Kyle Amoroto. That's a break brought to you brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. It's a dry one for Joseph. Chance now for Matt, but apparently the four in the way. Field combination, Matt Hidalgo. Here's a chance for the vid. Another combination coming up. Malon, papalabas ng lamesa ang puti. Ball in hand ngayon para kay Joseph David. And he'll be shooting until that black eight. Ayun, kita niya naman Shark Anatics. Though he made the two ball to ni Matt Hidalgo, tumalon nga lang papalabas ng lamesa ang puti. So ito, he needs that cue ball land in between the 7 and the 9, ano, para may tira pa siya sa is. Looks like it's perfect here for David. I'd mm. say, partner, 7 to the corner na lang, no? Hindi na kailangan, unless he has the angle to play for the side. Yeah, siguro konting, ano lang, konting drift towards the left or to his right, ano, yung cue ball. Take the 7 to the side. Let's see. Ayun, aba, corner na lang. Pwede nang stop ball ito. Oh my, I missed there from David. That was a fairly straight in seven, but... I think he was just feeling a bit awkward about taking it in the far corner. Matt. Oh. Is he going to be lucky? Yeah, looks like he got lucky there. Possible jump here for David. Or maybe just a kick shot will do. Let's see what Matt Hidalgo would actually do with the seven. Earlier, I remember he scratched to the corner after, 
I think he played a bank against George Ong. But this is a nice safety by Matt. A lot of distance. Shot on the seven to the side. And the money maker is going to be shooting the money ball of Joseph David. Nice shot. Once again, the money maker will be shooting the money ball. This time, his money ball. Money in the bank for the money maker. Money in the bank indeed for player number four as he gets his second point. Ang ihirap ng mga tinira niyang yun, ano? Ay ba talaga itong ating uh, money maker, Matt Hidalgo. Napakalakas talaga ng pocketing. Speaking of pocketing, ito, isa rin malakas ang pocketing. Zima Tarsi, George Ong, parehas ang laban contra Matt Hidalgo. Right after this. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. And this is happening in three days time, December 10 to December 12, the Kaiza, Ralph Suke against the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. Here at the Mecca Pool. I believe ngayon ang dating dito sa Pinas nito ni Ralph Suke, you know, partner. That's right, transporter, we're gonna be needing your services. Alright. Ito, subukan nating uh, ma mangyari yan. Pero right now, look at our scores. David is still leading with three points. Umahabol itong si Cheng and Villapando both with two points apiece. Of course, si Matt Hidalgo meron na rin, sitting at fourth place. And he'll be breaking next against George Ong ito sa ating susunod na rack. Thanks once again to Andy Premier Billiard Cloth for sponsoring Pool Table Cloth here at Sharks and at Hard Time Sports Bar. Matt Hidalgo came up with a nice break, but he came up dry as well. George Ong, ito ang tumalo kay Matt kanina.
Well, it's going to be selling out right now for George Ong. Zima Tarsi clearly can see the two. Nice shot there from the money maker. Let's see. Open on the four. Easy to play position for the five. We can all hope Matt Hidalgo cleans up. The nine, the nine. Oh, nipis. Teka lang. George Ongto, no? This is not Noel Cachapero. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. George Ong, player number five, Zima Tarsi. Munti ka na masyutan webe. Ala Cachapero style, but look at this. Mat Hidalgo. Uh, ang tira sa ocho, huh? But this is very makeable for his caliber. Giving a chance for George Ong, it's a shot to the far corner. Parang ang magandang prepare dito para medyo flashy, take the nine to the side. Yeah. A bit of right spin, center right, center left rather. Para mamatay. Parang, parang ganun. Ayun na yun. shot. Dumikit lang ang pato. It's still good. Nueve, malapit na rin naman sa side. This for his win number two. That's right. Doing a veteran move there, George Ong. Next is player number seven, Stirador Jordan Lee. 
magbibigay ng 8-9 partida in favor of George Ong right after this. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Happening this coming December 15 to 17, a three day event featuring Ralph Suke and Johan Chua. Currently, Johan Chua will be playing tonight's final event. So stay tuned for that. At batiin natin dito si Gio Castigador. Binabati ka, Master Dennis. Ayan. Gio Castigador, magandang hapon sa iyo. Ako ha, alam mo, natikman ko yung uh, pulburon na nanggaling kay Gio Castigador. Ha? At of course, sa kanyang napakagandang girlfriend, napakabayot. Napakasarap nung pulburon ha. So thank you Gio ha. Ako at uh, talagang uh, napakasarap at uh, sana makaulit muli. Uh, and pag um, kagahanap kayo ng masarap na pulburo na order lang kayo kay Gio Castigador. Kaibigan natin yan. By the way, this break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Wow, what a nice break there from George. Has a shot on the two. Could play a combination here on the red three. Ito, Carlo Fadrigo, sinasamahan din tayo dito, aba. Aba, eh, hindi mo ba natikman yung uh, pulboro ni Gio, ha? Kaloy Fadrigo, ano ba naman yan? Oh, ito si brother ni Gio. Oo, oh, eh. Kayo yung halos magkasama, eh. Lagi-lagi. Wow, look at that. That was unbelievable. Oo oh, nga, no? Akala mo umalog pa yun, partner, oh, no? Mga hindi, kaya nga hindi na natin masyado tinitigan, no? Oh, Because... Eh. We were certainly, we were sure that that was going to go in. Anyway, here comes his airness. Pagka naririnig ko yung his airness, iba yung nasa isip ko, partner eh. Ano eh? We're, we're uh, talking about the GOAT sa basketball, ano? Pero iba naman sa bilyar. Jordan Lee, ang ating... Uh, kasagutan dyan. Ito. Nice safety behind the nine. Dito ha, pwedeng mag-jump dito si Jordan, the jump man. Kaya nga, the jump man.
Anyway, George Ong buying himself a chance. He's going to be shooting up until the 8th or maybe just up until the 7th. Here we go, the 7 and the 9 as a combination for him to time things up with David. Here goes Zima Tarsi. There you go, that's Aureo Ong Sr. winning that rank. From 5th place to 2nd place, George Ong gets his 3rd point. Tumobla na sa ating current leader na si Joseph David. Vince the Prince, Vincent Cheng, siya na pong susunod. Parehas ang laban kontra George Ong right after this. Coming soon here at Sharks, the Fire Dragon, Chang Jung Lin versus the Kingpin Baseth Mokaibat. Happening only here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. Nice break there by George, brought to you by Andy Premier. Nice safety here. Look at this, George Ong using the 9 and the 5. Oh no, that's going to be a foul. No reels after contact for Vincent Cheng.
And here we are. George on right now. On to the four. It's an even matchup between George and Vincent Cheng. But how to get position for the five, that's going to be the question and the challenge. Ideally, I think he'd like to get below or just close to the head rail. No, that's not going to do. Gonna cut the five in, I think he can, let's see. Nakopo. He aside from not hitting the five, well he miscued. I'm not sure if this is the best thing to do, especially when you're going to be leaning over the table. It's going to be quite tough. And this is a nice safety played by George. Too bad there was a chance for Vincent Cheng. Legal shot, Vincent Cheng. The cue ball is going to stop. Oh, well, not quite going to stop. George Hong with the best chance to finally overtake. Joseph David for the lead. Not ideal here on the 8, George Ong. It's going to be a tough shot. There has to be a risk of scratching to the side if he shoots this just a bit hard. And that was going to be the problem all the time. George Ong failing to capitalize on that opportunity. Scratches his head and smile shrugs it off. Well, this nine for Vincent Cheng. No, he's not going to use the bridge anymore. He's just going to shoot it with... A Q extension. Vincent Chang now has three points as well.
And we're going to be having the transporter Dennis Po, call center agent from Quezon City, up next. Chang Jung Lin, one of the best players in the world, is going to be playing here, competing here at Sharks really soon. Three matches for him. The second one, it's going to be the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. Only here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. Thus far, we have three players leading with three points, David, Ong, and Cheng. Still looking for his first point is the transporter, Dennis Po. Challenging Vincent Cheng in the next rack. We will see how it turns out as he gets to the table here at Sharks. That's a nice break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Nice break makes the one and makes the two. Does he land himself a shot here in the red three? Seems like. Oh. Well, he had to put a bit of swerve that time. Now going to be leaving Dennis. An open layout here. Uses top right spin, gets closer to the six. Now, possibly would settle for an eight nine combination, depending if it is wired or if it's an easy shot. Let's see where he plays the seven, possibly to the corner. And with this angle, he has left himself. I figure he's going to have to draw just across the center. Take the eight on the corner pocket on the bottom right of your screens. Bottom left, that is. And had to play the combination that time. Dennis gets his first against Vincent Cheng.
Once again, the underdog player known as the underdog, Paolo Villapando, a dog breeder living in Cainta, Rizal. Coming up next. Okay, first point for Dennis Pong. Let's see if he can come up with a revenge rack against Paolo Villapando. Didn't let Dennis shoot earlier. That's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. And it's an open shot on the two. Ito na yung sinasabi ko. Babawi ang transporter. He's going to have to settle for a shot here to the side. I think he has left himself just a bit of an angle. Well, he can force this to play the short side of the five. Just like this. Natampal, no? That's the reason why the cue ball list lost. Top spin on the way to the seven. Now it's going to be a cut, a reverse cut here. He can still make this. Hopefully, he lands a shot on the eight. Nope, just lacked the required amount of spin and speed. And two balls left for Villapando. We're not really used to seeing Dennis come up with these kinds of errors, but then again, that's how the game goes.
Once again, we are on to player number 10. That's J. Cool Jaynard Orque, the businessman from Sampaloc, Manila, challenging Nino, Paulo Nino Vidapando in the next track. Winner of our first event here at Sharks is Christian Nagano, the songbird. Winning against Jeffrey Peñaranda and Romulo Hufana in Top Guns, our first event here early here at Sharks. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. And let me say hello to Arsenio Adamos. Shout out me kay Lodi Dennis po. Kakayanin mo yarn. Ano masasabi mo doon, Dennis? Oh, munti ka ng kayanin. Kaso hindi kinaya doon sa preparation from 6 to the 7. Ano? Hindi na... Hindi na korida. But anyways, bawi tayo ha. Arsenio Adamos, the Arsenal. That's a foul. Dito kay Jaynard wasn't able to hit the red three. Nilaban niya ang doblete at ito, bumenta na para kay Jaynard Orke. Ray Mendoza, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And salamat, yes. Marami tayong hahabulin. Mahaba-haba. 
Nako kaya sana makabalik pa mamaya no. Here comes Jaynard Orke. Five ball to the side. Manipis ha. Buti pumasok. Yun nga lang. Uy, of all places, dito pa talaga. Umabot ang puti behind the black eight. Hmm. Ito, Paolo Villapando shooting for the green six. Last three balls for him. Kalain mong mag-scratch yun sa side. Paolo Villapando. One lucky roll there. What ito? Jaynard with his last two balls here. There you go, Jaynard Orke gets his second point. And dalawang puntos na yan, galing dito kay uh, Paulo Villapando. Next is player number one, Efrem Gaviola. Meron siya dito ng 4-9 handicap against Jaynard Orke right after this. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. Tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Congratulations to John Algalve, Shapong Nick Champion. Yesterday, sa ating 10 ball, 10 man ring game showdown and of course pati hindi natin si Jeffrey Ignacio and Brian Sagiped ending at second and third placers respectively. Once again congratulations to players 4, 9 and 2 4, 9, 2 That break was brought to us by Andy Premier.
Uy, nako, lumamit daw itong dos. And remember, itong si Efren Gaviola will only be shooting until that ping four. Nako. Nagmintis sa money ball. Ito si Efren Gaviola. There is an available 6-9 combination later. 4 and 5. Pwedeng uh, same pocket. Or maybe Jaynard can go directly and take a carom 4 to 6-9 combo. Palito. But it's gonna get second price here, I think. Mukong kita itong cuatro, but walang pasok for mang i. Pede nyan lakasan ito, ha? Then the cue ball will travel around the table, go for the 6 9. Oh, nako, bebenta na ito for Jaynard. Ubus na ito. Tingin ko ha, hanggang go Jaynar Dorke gets his third point up next is player number three Larry Lim with a 6-9 handicap against Jared Orke right after this. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw Jump Cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Congratulations to Paul John Ladao ng Olongapo City. Siya pong nanalo sa ating one-on-one -on -one main event ng December 5th of 2022. Winning against Michael Bawanan. Once again, congratulations, Paul John Ladao. Five players with three points apiece. That's David or David rather, still at the top. 
George Ong at second and at third place, Vincent Cheng. That break was brought to us by Andy Premier. Magandang hapon, Jasper Philip Lim. All right, thank you for tuning in, Mr. Jasper Philip Lim. All right, thank you uh, at uh, suporta for me. And of course, para dito kay Jaynard Orke, who's down to his last five balls to take the lead sa ating scoreboard. Oof, look at this. Nine ball, same pocket to where that eight ball went in. And this shot right here for the lead. Wiping its feet before finding gravity. Jaynard Orke now our new leader with four points.
Up next is player number two, the dreamer Joseph David. Meron po siya dito 5-9 handicap against Jaynard Orke right after this. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Johan Chua versus Kyle Amoroto. Mame ang gabi na po ito. Right after our second event for the conclusion of the race to 60 battle. 30 to 17 ang ating scores sa so pagtatapos ng day one. Later tonight will be day number two. Only here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. Break was brought to us by Andy Premier. Nice break by Jay Nard, making two balls of his break. No clear shot on the blue two. He may go for the bank to the side. Safety attempt here. Still a difficult shot here for Joseph David. Safety behind the four here.
Uy, munti ka na ang 5 doon. Which is uh, the money ball of Joseph David. Pero ito. Open shot for the blue 2 here for Jaynard. Question is, the red 3. Same pocket kaya ito? Or will he go for the 3-5 combo? He's going for the 3-5 combo, although medyo saliwa, no? Hindi uh, wired combo ito. He may just go for the carom. Looks like he's going for the combo now. Na yon, but still went in. Parehas na ang laban dito. He's going to settle for a longer shot on the 8. If he makes this, cue ball will automatically go for a uh, position for the 9. You know? Uy, aba, kumalog ang 8 ni Jaynard. Sayang itong position niya sa 9. This is still not a gimme. Yung mga ganitong cliffhanger, minsan, minsan mahirap pa rin ang posisyon sa susunod na bola. No? In this case, position on the nine wouldn't be automatic. So he needs to hit this eight ball perfectly or he may go real first and take the short side position. going for the bank. Oh, sa kabila ba ito? Oh, there you go, Joseph David. Triplete pala ang planong gawin doon. Uh, waves his hand as a sign of apology for Jaynard dahil uh, dublete naman talaga ang kanyang plano. Sige, tingin ko dun, ano, hindi triplete. But, lucky enough to go back to the opposite corner pocket and ties with Jaynard at 4.
next is the moneymaker Matt Hidalgo magbibigay siya ng 8-9 partida in favor of Joseph David right after this. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Battle for Supremacy, December 19 to 22, featuring our top 32 players here in the Philippines. Brought to us by Bugsy Promotions and the BMPAP, Hard Times, and Co. Jump Cues. Top 3 natin, Orchid, David, and Ong. 4-4-3 ang kanilang scores dito. Matt Hidalgo with 2 points. Magbibigay siya ng 8-9 partida contra Joseph David here in our next rack. That break was brought to us by Andy Premier. Uy, nahulog ang dos. Still has a shot on the one. Doon sa kabilang corner. Nice break there. That seven nine cluster. bank coming from Joseph David and this eight ball for his fifth point to reclaim our top spot there you go the dreamer gets his fifth point
siya na ulit ang ating leader dito Next is player number seven, Stirador Jordan Lee, our freelancer from Quezon City. He's gonna give, uh, he's gonna hand the seven as a handicap here for Joseph David right after this. The Kaiser Ralph Suke versus the Black Tiger Carlo Biado. This coming December 10 to 12. Only here at Sharks. Joseph David reclaims his top spot at the scoreboard with five points, overtaking Jaynard Orke at second with four points, and the third, George Ong with three points. And here we go, it's the dreamer. Joseph David. That break is brought to us by Andy Premier. And muling nagpapasalamat sa Andy Billiard Clock. Magandang maganda ang quality, professional quality pool table cloth both here at Sharks and at Hard Time Sports Bar. Wow, look at this. Ako, pag tumama pa sa 7. Oh, hindi na kailangan. Aba, grabe naman yun, partner. And he'll be shooting until that brown 7. We're not used to seeing his airness with no points. And the three, grabe. And yun yung sinasabi ni Manny Argonza na may langgam. Ano ko ha? Kung hindi ka sanay na scoreless si Jordan, eto na. I-score na. Ito, he's gonna force his cue ball. Parang real first ito, ha? Not sure, but he didn't want to be too straight. Ayun na nga. Bumanda. Banda muna. Kumbaga sa basketball, parang ano, board, uh, ano muna, no? Um, board off, muna ito, ma'am. A bank shot. Bank shot din tawag doon. Oo nga, no? Mm. <laughs> Oo nga ba? Tagal ko na natin hindi nag-basketball pala, eh. Boarding. Ayun, boarding. <laughs> Kaso... Ayan nga lang. Well, still not a gimme here on this five ball for our current leader. Wow, what a shot there. Two balls left. Joseph David, he's going to have to force the cue ball. Draw that off the six. Shoot the seven in the opposite corner. Bitin, pero kaya pa rin. 
not enough juice on that draw shot from six to the seven. But this is his money ball here. If this goes in, he's gonna get his six point. That was a bank shot with added safety features. Boy partner, bebenta ito, ha? Huh? That's right. Nako. Bad news for... Uh, the fans of Jordan Lee here as he left a shot for David. An easy one, in fact. There you go, the dreamer gets his sixth point. Shaparin ng ating leader dito. Next is Zima Tarzi George Ong. Magbibigay siya ng 8 9 handicap in favor of Joseph David right after this. This is December 15 to 17. That's in about eight days from now. We're going to be having Kaiser Ralphs UK and the bad boy Johan Chua. And that's a break brought to you by Andy Premier, Billiard Glot. He's going to land himself an open shot here under one. Earlier, uh, several or like a dozen of racks ago, Joseph David came up with a break and run out. So he's in track to coming up with another one. Well, not ideal here in the five, shooting up until the eight. Joseph David against George Ong. He's going to have to play a safety probably. 
No safeties for now. Well, a similar shot that he played against Jordan Lee in the last track. Let's see if jo if jo George Ong. Sasabi ko sana Jordan eh. George Ong could come up with a safety against Joseph David. Not bad. Napabor pa yung double kiss na yun, ha? At nahirapan pa dito si Joseph David. We may go for a cross bank to the side. Let's see. Oh, sa corner pala. But, nako. Parang hinaharangan pa ng nuebe dito. George Ong right now might have to swerve, play a messy shot. for Joseph David with three balls left. Three balls away, but it's never safe to say. Still has to land nice position on the brown seven. Well, this is nice for the seven, but getting from the seven to the eight could be a problem. Wow, what a shot, Joseph David. Kelvin and Young, sina sa man ko lang si Professor Freeze, pero. Hindi na tayo commentator. Tapos na ating shift. And Joseph David Abad. Tuloy-tuloy partner ha. Seven points. That's it. The Dreamer. Aba. At ito. Tinira pa yung nine. Grabe. Ay baka talaga. The Dreamer. Showing off. Yeah. Making a statement here. Businessman from Quezon City, that is Vince the Prince, Vincent Chang, or Jackie Chang. Coming up next. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Here at Sharks really soon, it's Chang Jun Lin, the Fire Dragon. Matching up against the Kingpin, Baset Mokaibat. So do stay tuned for this. It's gonna be an exciting match. Only here at the Mech of Pool. Thanks again for tuning in. Right now we have Joseph David putting himself ahead of the rest of the players. Now has 7 points, 2 more wins before he bags another championship here at Sharks Nine Ball Showdown. Has put a stop to really, really good players. Especially our top seeded player, Jaynard Orke. Tinalo ni Joseph Davidian. Oh my. So 
really he is on a roll let's see about that he breaks right now And that's a nice break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Club. Pasok, dalawang bola. That's the one and the three. And Joseph David right now with the shot on the two. I think he's going to cut this in. Should offer him position on the pink four. That's the next lowest numbered ball. Oh no, he came up thin, thick rather. Napakapal. Missed there from Vincent Cheng. The eight was about to drop. Oh, and mind you guys, that was his handicap. Baka matapos to bigla. So let me do greetings here. Miss Eliza Santiago. Ayan. Asking, sino lamang kay Chua at Amoroto? I think... Oh, the 8. <laughs> Excuse me for that. <laughs> Grabe. Twice the 8 was about to be bumped to that side. Anong score? I think the score was 30 to 17. Confirmation here. Leading is Kyle Amoroto, the sharpshooter. Gonna have to cut. This six ball in, bounce off two rails up and down. Should land himself a shot on the seven. Well, he missed that, but he didn't sell out. David with the best chance for him to get onto the hill. Player number two, just three balls away. And again, it's never safe to say. Still has to play position for the seven and make that. He has position and two balls left. Virtually this rack is his. And be ready, transporter, because you are coming up next. And the dream continues. The dreamer.
It's player number nine. It is up to him. The transporter, Dennis Po, call center agent from Quezon City. Kung marami pa tayong mga kaganapang laban dito sa Sharks 9 Ball Showdown. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Call Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. The Black Tiger, Carlo Biado, and the Fire Dragon, Chang Jun Lin, are matched up here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. And we have a player on the hill right now, and that's the dreamer, Joseph David. Well, he is showing that he is really in focus right now, Joseph David. Seems like every ball, every fairly easy and manageable shot, he will make and he will capitalize on every opportunity. In other words, pasok ang drive. Ni Joseph David, and he's breaking right now with a handicap of five and nine against the transporter Dennis Po. Look at that! What a break! Again, that was brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth, and just what the transporter needed and others. Quite a tough cut here on the one. He wants to maybe play a safety. Bago matapos ang lahat, gusto kong batiin dito ang kaibigang si Anthony Gambala. Gus Gambala. Ayan. Rooting for Dennis. And saktong-sakto ang pagkaka-nood mo, Mr. Gambala. Here we are, an open layout for Dennis, transporter. Seems like he is fairly straight here, just a little bit of angle. Gonna have to force this with a lot of top left, maybe. He's digging down, so, hmm. Oh my, where is it gonna land? It's gonna be open for David. The chance that he has been waiting for has finally arrived. If he can make this two and land easy on the red three, there's a big possibility that it's over. Oh, look at this. Missed the two, but look where he landed. A jump shot for Dennis available. He's going to have to bring out his jump cue. Now this could go out. This could be... He has to be cautious. Well, he makes that, but look where he landed. No man's land. Ayan, at binabati ko rin ang isa pang tropa rito na si Jerome Zumel. Ayan. Gamitin mo ang mga tinuro, gamitin ni Dennis yung mga tinuro mo sa kanya, no? Ayun. Uh, Mr. Jerome, that jump shot was really nice. Oh, 
hope he doesn't sell out after this kick. Good. Somehow he found, finds a way not to sell out, but there's a bank available for Joseph David. Let's see if he can. Well, the dreamer is in danger. Once again, an open shot here for a transporter. But he has to clean up, so these six balls need to be gone before he wins. Nice shot. Now he wants to leave an angle on the five. Has pointed his cue somewhere just right off the center of the table. Just like this. This is going to be perfect. Going to have to draw off this 5 past the 9. Wants to be just a bit straight on the 6. Well, he go he's going to have to sell for this. Bouncing off the rail 2 twice. Up and down. We'll settle for this distant eight ball. Just needs to put a stop here on this shot right now. This nine just stop. Joseph David. It's a cut on the nine. Not too close to that corner. If there's anybody who can do this, it's Transporter. There you go, a stopper now. Dennis keeping the hopes alive for all other players. To player number eight, that's the underdog Paulo Villa Pando, the dog breeder from Cainitarizal, is coming up next. Secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And Robocop, Dennis Orcullo and Chang Jun Lin, the Fire Dragon, are going to be matched up here at the Mecca of Pool really soon, so do stay tuned. Well, we're going to be making announcements as to when this event is happening here at Sharks. And well, Joseph David has to be secured the second place spot for reaching onto the hill first against all other players. We have Jinard Orke with four at the second place spot currently, and George Ong, Vincent Cheng, Paulo Villapando are all tied up with three points eyeing to get themselves on the podium right now transporter is going to be breaking against villa pando stay tuned Great. 
Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Two balls off that break. The two has to bounce just a bit more for Transporter to land the shot. Seems like he has. Transporter not exactly landing himself easy on this red three after he makes the two. As much as he wants to jump, it's not going to be easy having that cue ball out towards the center of the table. It's going to be a kick right now. And well, left it open for Villapando. Might have to play a safety, I believe. Well, he tried to play for a safety or maybe a two-way shot trying to make the red three. Dennis has left this open for Villapando. Doesn't look like the cue ball will bump the eight as it as Nino will shoot the red three. Doesn't bump the eight, but I think he's going to sell out. Well, not quite. Safety battle going on right now. Billy Pando failing to use maybe the nine or the five as bloggers. Transporter with an open look here on the red three. Not easy though. So he's going to have to maybe play a safety or go for it.
Well, finally, the five ball is down. After a number of safety attempts from both players, he can take the six to this corner on the just below the Sharks logo. Could avoid the scratch to the side and land a straight in shot on the seven. Just like that. Two balls left for a transporter. Might want to slide just before the side pocket. There you go, that's two points right now for a transporter, Dennis Spo. Up next, it's player number one, Efren Gaviola Mang E, the real estate broker from the city of Manila. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Congratulations to Top Guns winner. That was earlier today here at Sharks. Christian Nagano winning against Jeff Peñaranda and Romulo Hufana. Once again, congratulations to the Songbird. Dennis Poe right now has three points, just a number, another win would set him onto the third place spot of the podium, so do stay tuned, we'll see how it turns out. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Makes the one, the nine is moving. Doesn't exactly have a pocket for this two ball. Well, as he makes the blue two, it looks like he can play a combination here with a three and nine. Wow, that's a nice safety. But Efren Gaviola, a master of kicking, is coming up to kick at this too. Good. Very nice kick. Apparently, it looks like he has sold out. 
How about a carry off the red three to the nine for Dennis? That's a possibility. Wow, nice shot, Karim off the red three, just as I called it. And Transporter now on to the third place spot, overtaking George Ong, Vincent Cheng, and Paolo Villapando. His next matchup, no other than Uncle Larry Lim. Yo, Uncle Larry Lim, the businessman from the city of Mandaluyong, is coming up next. And congratulations to the winner last night of Shark Stenball Showdown that is Jonal Galve, also known as Balbon, along with the podium finishers Jeffrey Nasho and Brian Sagipin. Players 4, 9, and 2, congratulations. Thanks again for tuning in here at Sharks. Sharks Nine Ball Showdown is brought to you by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Time Sports Bar, and Andy Premier Billiard Club. Oh, Mr. Kelvin, it's not going to happen. That match between Dennis and I, hindi kami magkaserya niyan. Transporter is a tier above my game here. Ang kalaban niyan talaga si Nino Ocampo. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier. Disappointed with the result there, Dennis slams that chong on the table. Larry Lim, I think he can go for a six. Carry him off the one to the six, especially when he gets the six as his handicap. Making the six ball via a legal shot will result in a win for Larry Lim. Gonna have to play the combination now, two to the seven. Apparently, no other option for Dennis. Nice shot. And Will needs to leave himself an angle on the red three. An angle that should be a that should make him able should enable him to get closer to that pink four. He's kind of flat, but he can still stun this.
draw of the pink four right now. Just a bit hampered by the six. Transporter. Wow, nice draw. This is going to be perfect. Using the spin to get closer to the six. Just three balls left for transporter Dennis Paul. Kind of short here of ideal position, but nonetheless, he can make this transporter. There you go. Dennis now with five points. That's, that's apparently... Stand corrected, make that three straight wins from Transporter. Now we're on to player number 10, top seed of player Jake Cool, Jaynard Dorke, businessman from Sampaloc, Manila. It's an even matchup featuring Jaynard and Dennis in the next rank. Winner of the one and one event, that is Paul John Ladau. Winning against Michael Bawanan in the race to 30. That was last December 5, a couple of nights ago. Egga or Paul John Ladau, congratulations from the pride of Ilongapo City. And we have eight points now for Joseph, but right now somebody who has who is climbing up the ranks here onto the podium that is Dennis Transporter Dennis Paul. He's to break in a few moments. And four balls away here for a transporter. Just gonna have to bounce off the side rail across the center of the table. 
Seems like Dennis is going to be getting his sixth point. Pretty much this guy is dialed in right now. Mahirap talaga pag pinaiinit nyo yung sasakyan ni Transporter. Na ko. And that reminds me. Baka may masisigawan dito. There you go, Transporter Dennis Po now with five. Make that six. And good friends off the table, but competitors at the table. That's Matt Hidalgo and Dennis Po being matched up in the next round. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Still has the shot here on the five. He's going to have to shoot this with a bit of spin. Make sure he lands and bounces off the second reel just before the side.
And now just two balls left here for Transporter. Gonna play the nine on the opposite, and he's perfect here on this nine. Was that a break and run out from Dennis? Oh my. That's seven points now for Dennis Poe. And if Tracy Cedro is watching right now on Facebook, ito na ang Don't Talk to Me, Dennis. Na sinasabi mo. So it's up to Jordan Lee, the Stirador. Itong si Air Jordan, the freelancer from Quezon City, looking to put a stop to Dennis before he gets onto the hill. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And the battle for supremacy is happening here at Sharks, presented by Congressman Arnie Tevis Jr. This coming December 19 to 22, a Christmas special brought to you by Sharks, featuring the top 32 finishers of the recently held Philippine Tanball Open headed by our champion Kyle the Sharpshooter Amoroto. This event is brought to you by Bugsy Promotions and the BMPP Hard Time Sports Bar and the Co Brothers. So right now Dennis has 7 points just a corner away from Joseph David score. We'll see if Dennis can come up with another break and run out. It's going to be putting him on the hill right now. Let's get it on. Well, oh, what a time to come up with a dry break and look at this. Open shot on the one for Jordan Lee. Do note that Jordan is getting the eight ball as a handicap. Seems like Jordan Lee right now is on a roll, all of a sudden, bringing out the goods. Just two balls left to put a stop to Transporter's run. That was five straight wins from Dennis, but right now, Jordan Lee looks to get his first point. This eight ball for his first. And we have a stopper. 
Jordan Lee. Impressive run out there. Up next, we have Zima Tarsi, George Ong, the contractor from Quezon City. Right now, he has three points looking to get onto his fourth in the next round. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And the Kaiser Ralsuke is going to be matched up in about three days' time against the Black Tiger Carlo Biado. Again, save the dates December 10 to December 12, a three day event, race to 63, here at Sharks, the Mecca of Pool. And too bad for Dennis after six straight wins. Had to be stopped. But right now, everybody is happy with their own point. Especially Jordan Lee. Took a while before he got his first. You're right, Miss Trish. Lee on the board. Break. Here we go. It's a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Jordan Lee to break. That's a nice break there. Landing just a bit difficult here for the red three. Miss there from George. Open shot for Jordan Lee. Fairly straight on this five. Might play the six in the same pocket. I believe he was going for that. It fell a bit short. Still can make the seven, but not ideal. He's gonna have to bear down. Make sure he cuts that cleanly. Nice shot there, Jordan Lee. Gonna run this cue ball forward with a bit of spin. No, decided to draw, and he's gonna be left close to the side rail. Oh my. Thank you. 
What a shot from Jordan Lee after a miss from George capitalized on that mistake, thereby bringing him onto a second point. Vincent Chang, Vince the Prince, businessman from Quezon City, is up next. Fanatics, batiin natin ha ang mga kaibigan natin Anthony Gambala Gas magandang hapon sa inyo of course together with Jerome Paul Zumel na nanonood galing pa yan sa ano ha sa Saudi Saudi ba o Dubai ayan magandang hapon at magandang gabi sa inyo alright <laughs> That's a break brought to you by Andy Premier, Billiard Claude, Jordan Lee. After a number of nice breaks, somebody comes up with a scratch. Kagas ha? Loko mo si Matt. Ayan, natayin mong makabalik mamaya si The Moneymaker. At nag-charge lang ng kanyang baterya, no? Here comes Vincent Cheng with an 8-9 handicap against Jordan Lee. Well, Vincent Cheng shooting at his last ball right now, which happens to be the 8th via an 8-9 handicap. Jordan Lee will be regretting scratching off that break. There you go, Vincent Cheng. Now with 5 points, is going to be climbing the podium once again. Is the dreamer Joseph David? Will this be our final rack for tonight's Shark Kinetics? Para sa ating second event, 
Meron pa siyang 8-9 partida contra Vincent Cheng right after this. Definitely, we are really excited to finally see Chang Jun Lin compete here at Sharks soon. Only here at Sharks, the Mega Pool. Now it's gonna depend on Vincent Cheng if he's gonna be another stopper for Joseph David who currently has 8 points. Just another win to bag another title here in Shark Stamble Showdown, our 10-man ring game event. Ayan, babatiin ko dito si Paul Mark Bergogna, si Paul Dogs. <laughs> Nabasa ni Dennis yan, Paul Dogs. Here is a break brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Look at this. Look at this. A nice break there apart from the cue ball landing just above the 8. It's going to be quite a tough shot here for Vincent Cheng as he shoots the 1. Wow, look at this, landing the cue ball behind the 9 as he kicked at that one. Raising his hand in apology, Joseph David, as if he were guilty. At nabawian naman nito ni Cheng. And definitely another raise of hand. Quits na. foul here question is with ball in hand how does Vincent Cheng play for position from the one to the two nice safety played there by Vincent Cheng but a kick is available here for Joseph What a nice shot there from Joseph, escaping another foul as Vincent Cheng right now will be getting an open shot on the one. Let's see if he can hold for position here for the blue two. Nicely done, 
just a bit straight here on the blue should maybe play the red three short side no he has an angle here he's gonna force this force it into a miss apparently Gonna go for a safety, I believe. Joseph David. Gonna be using the seven. It's gonna be perfect here. What a shot from David. The dreamer has forced Vincent Chang to jump. Looks like it's going to be a safe. Look at this. Wow. Vince the Prince comes up with a really nice reply. Well, let's see right now if Vincent can complete the run out. Apparently, a number of obstacles to be addressed here. Does he want to be straight on the six? Needs an angle. Two balls left here. Vincent Chang to once again be a stopper. Going to be using a Q extension right now as he has to lean over for more than half part of the table. This nine for his fifth point. And it goes another stopper in the form of Vincent Chang. Jackie Chang. Nag parkour siya dun. So we're back to player number eight. That's Paulo Villapando, first timer here against Vincent Chang. Gonna be giving Vincent Chang the eight ball as a handicap. 
And basahin natin to. Nag-start ako nung 13 years old sa bilyaran sa tabo ng sa tabo ng village namin. Tapos sa uh, Puyat Plaza naging kalaro ko ang mga college students noong first year high school ako. Mandami akong nakilalang bilyarista kaya na-inspire akong maging hobby at passion ang bilyar. Yung mga player na nakalaro ko lang dati na mga pro players na ngayon ang motivation ko sa paglalaro at yung love ko sa sports na ito. Naging champion na rin ako sa ilang tournaments, MEBC, CPBC at San Miguel Nine Ball. He's up next. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. The Black Tiger, Carlo Biano, and the Fire Dragon, Chang Jung Lin, here at Sharks. Soon. Here's Vince the Prince right now, breaking, eyeing to get onto his sixth point. It could be his ninth to win this. And Miss Eliza Santiago, ang susunod ay si Kyle Amoroto at si Johan Chua, so stay tuned for that. Again, it's a break brought to you by Andy Premier, Billiard Cloth. Look at this break. Open shot here on the two. Let's hope he makes this. Two rails out towards the center. Oh, a miss from the Prince. First time we hear Paolo Villapando. Nice shot there on the red three. Uses the nine to stop the cue ball. Leaves himself an angle here on the pink four. Gonna have to control this to land position on the purple five.
fell short of ideal position here on this six ball Paulo Villa Pando. And well, there you go, Paulo Villapando. And up next, Efren Gaviola Mang E, the real estate broker from the city of Manila. Up next. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Q tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And Mr. Kelvin Gomez Nanyong, I'm not sure I can do that for you. Maybe we can ask Dennis Po to do that. Mas ano tayo, mas mas madaling makibaka sa mga players na professionals. No? Dennis heard that, so let's see. Pasensya ka na, sir, ha? Robocop, Dennis Orculio, and the Fire Dragon, Chang Jung Lin. Well, that was a nice break from Nino Villa Pando. Tingnan natin, no, kung magagawa niyang ubusin to.
Well, not ideal position here for Paulo Villapando. Gonna be going for a safety. My Efren Gaviola, what a shot there, but still difficult here on the eight ball. This is going to sell out too bad for Efren Gaviola. There you go, Paulo Villa Pando now with five points, tying up with Vincent Chang. And Larry Lim, the man we call Uncle, the businessman from the city of Mandaluyong. Shanapo ang susunod. Secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And hindi po yan si Superman, that is not Clark Kent, that is Christian Nagano, the songbird, professional singer, winning Top Guns earlier today against Jeffrey Peñaranda and Romulo Hufana. Congratulations to my good friend here, Christian Nagano. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier, Billiard Cloth. Nice break, makes the one, has a shot here in the two. I think he's gonna have to draw. Okay, pinilit niyang nakawin. Oh no, look at this, we're hit. Not good. He tried to cheat the pocket that time, so much so he has sent the two banking two wheels, bumping the cue ball towards the side.
Larry Lim will be jumping over this nine. Let's see if he can make nice contact here on the red three. No, that's not going to do. After a safety played there by Villapando, Larry Lim gets a foul. It's an open layout now for Villapando. Oh my, that's a miss there, Villa Pando. Anyway, let me say hello to Ivan Ivan Rodriguez. Ayan, nanonood kasama natin sa Facebook. Wishing luck to Matt Hidalgo and Transporter. Ayan, si Ivan. It's going to be his last ball, Larry Lim, this easy seven ball for his second point. And there you go, Larry Lim. To top seeded player J. Cool Jaynard Orke, the businessman from Sampaloc, Manila. Up next. Hard Time Sports Bar. Conclusion of this two-day event here. That's the one-on-one -on -one featuring Johan Chua and Kyle Amoroto, the sharpshooter versus the bad koi. Here at Sharks, brought to you by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Time Sports Bar, and Andy Premier Billiard Club. Here's Larry Lim right now breaking with a 6 as a handicap against Jainer Dorke. This is a break brought to you by Andy Premier. Billiard Cloth. Nice break. Makes the 1 and it looks like he will land the shot here on the 2.
gonna go for a safety, but this is gonna be selling out for Jaynard. Left it open, three close to the rail. It's just gonna have to aim in between the rail and the red three with top spin. Jaynard Orke, easy for him to make this. Landing position for the pink four. Number of pockets available for that. Should be easy for him. Jaynard Orke right now, after making the red three, four and the five is now playing the six and the nine. For his fifth point. Nine ball down for Jaynard Orke. Now with five points. Up next, it's the money maker Matt Hidalgo. At ayan, sa mga kaibigan ni Matt Hidalgo na nanunod ngayon. Let's cheer Matt, the businessman from Quezon City, coming up next. Abagan po natin ang Battle for Supremacy this coming December 19 to 22. Presented by Congressman Arnie Tevis in partnership with Bugsy Promotions and the Premier Billiard Club, the Billiard Managers and Players Association of the Philippines, Hard Time Sports Bar, and the Co Brothers. It's an invitational tournament featuring the top 32 finishers of the Philippine Sandball Open just recently concluded. Again, happening here at the Mecca Pool.
Nice shot there on the one, but didn't land a really nice position here. Jaynar Dorke on this two ball. He's going to be forced to play a safety. Maybe he can bank the two and bump the four. It could be a two-way shot. Wow, getting a safety. Using the six. He had the cue ball. He had the two ball. Kiss the four and the nine. Easy kick right now for Matt Hidalgo. Nice angle here in the pink four for Jaynar Dorke. I think he's going to have to use inside spin. Wants to get to the five. At least closer to the five. He has used the six as a blocker for Matt Hidalgo, but Matt definitely easy for him to make contact here, giving it a good look. The cue ball, well, almost got behind the eight, leaving Jaynard Orke quite a tough shot here on the five let's see Jainer Dorke with a chance for his sixth point let us see about this Nice draw just before the side by Junior Orge. That was always available, but it was quite a bit of tough, dangerous scratching to the side was present. But he's mm, going to have to draw maybe or force this forward. Forced it forward in between the 8 and the 9. Nice. J. Cool. Three more balls left for his sixth point.
this fairly easy nine ball for J. Cool for his sixth. And there you go, Jaynard Orke, now a contender for him to win this event. Shark Snapple Showdown has been at four points for quite some time, but right now, he has six. Just two wins away to become the scoring leader. Impressive run out from J. Cool. Up next, it's the Transporter, Dennis Po, call center agent from Cousin City. Two of the top seeded players right now are battling at it, looking to get closer towards that finish line. Three days time, we're going to be having the Kaiser Ralphs UK. He just arrived here in the Philippines. So in by December 10, he's going to be matched against the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. So stay tuned for this happening here at Sharks. Here we go, it's Jared Orke to break. Again, this is brought to you by Andy Premier Billiard Cloth. Makes the one. And uh, might be having a cut here on the two, but that's going to be a really challenging shot.
Nice safety play there by Jane Ardorque. This is going to be tough for the transporter. Going to be a tough way landing the cue ball for the red three. Well, he's rewarded himself ball in hand right now. And look at this. He's going for another foul, possibly. Going to be using the five, I guess. The run out is going to be tough. Personally, I'd like to take the four nine combination. That's all going to be up to him but right now. Safety using the five. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. That wasn't a safety. I misread that. Sand corrected. <laughs> Never saw that coming combination and breaking up the four out in the open. Dorke using the bridge coming up with a miss. Dali dali namang itong transporter. Nasa fifth gear kagad. This is the chance that he has been waiting for, Dennis. Controlled draw shot coming up just a bit short for an easier shot on the 8. No reason to be mad. Still very much makeable. Just wanted to put a bit more drama here, Dennis. We're going to be having a second player getting on the hill right now. And it's all up to Zima Tarsi, George Ong, the contractor from Quezon City. If there's going to be more pool action coming your way here at Shark Sniper Showdown. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors.
legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Stay tuned for this December 15 to 17 Suke versus Chua here at Sharks. And transporter to break right now. Gonna be giving the seven as a handicap against George. For George, rather. Here's a break brought to you by Andy Premier. Billiard cloth. The one is gone. Where is the two ball heading? Oh my. Oh, doesn't want to be behind the four. Option. Well, George took a shot at that. It's open right now. What a shot on that two ball. Perfect here on the four, George Ong. And as we watch George Ong, Aureo Ong Sr. play here, let us welcome Aureo Ong Jr. Ang aking ama ngayon, ang tanging uh, hope ng ating mga players dito. Kasi nasa puro na po si Dennis Po, player number nine on the hill. At meron siyang binibigay na partidang 7-9 dito kay Zima Tarzi. Well, I thought you said Dennis Po Ong, Ong the Hill. Ong the Hill. <laughs> okay. So, pinalagpas sa may side. Pwede na rin to. Mahirap yung iniwan dito para kay Zima Tarzi. Although, it's an open shot on the four. I'd like to say a huge congratulations Okay, Boy Awit. Ano bang pangalan ngayon ni, uh, ni Christian Naganyo? Moniker? Moniker niya ngayon. Songbird eh. The Pero Songbird nga pala, the Songbird. Parang mas gusto ko na talaga yung Superman eh. Superman, pe, pwede. Clark Kent kasi yung itsura ni ano, 
ni Christian Nagano. Congratulations, Christian Nagano. Ang gandang pagbabalik ni ano ni Or Songbird. Isipan natin ang moniker, no? Chan L. Ano? Chan L. <laughs> Christian tapos Kalel kasi Kalel. Okay. Good evening to Jose Haen. Of course, si Joe Pao laging uh, nakasubaybay sa ating mga amateur players. Oh, hang on. Overcuts the four. Nice shot there. But how does he play the five? How does he get it safe? Or he just whack this, maybe hope the nine and the seven mm -hmm. head for a hole. Yeah, pretty tough safety. Pakas sa kanyang mukha yung ano eh, yung hirap ng sitwasyon. Pero tinan natin kung ma maanapan ng solusyon. That's gonna pop out. Five ball to the far corner pocket. Let's see if he takes it. Konting brush sa ocho. Might help him hold for the six. We're on to the problem ball this time. It was Dennis who pushed out the seven. Thereby respotting that just behind the nine. He's going to have to figure a way. I think Very he's going to break it up. Shot. Two rails? Could he he's hit gonna, this with two rails? It up. That's two rails right. back. Does he hit the seven? Oh man, that that was pretty close. Pretty close. Ooh. <laughs> Now how does he deal with this? Eto ang handicap ball ni Zimatarzi. Kailangan niyang uh, itago itong siete or maiwanan ng isang mahirap na tira at least. Behind the eight, kadi. Could he do it? Oh, well. I think he got there. Just a bit. We can't be really sure unless, of course, you're the player. Yeah, point of view ng player talaga ang uh, pinaka-accurate. Pero sa top view, parang yung bahagya ng ocho. Medyo tinatakpan tong cue ball. Pero I think he has enough kahit for a spin a bit of spin he's gonna swerve it banks it in siete pasok George oh <laughs> alright <laughs> okay ito <laughs> sa reaction niya na parang oh sorry sorry guys I sorry Dennis kasi <laughs> iikot pa tayo ngayon <laughs> actually I think George was saying sorry to you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go, guys. Na doblete ang siete. Nicely done. Good speed. And, eto. Muli po tayong iikot ang susunod pong sa Sargo. Or, ang susunod na challenge kay uh, Zimatarzi will be Stirador Jordan Lee, the freelancer. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Coming soon, Fire Dragon versus Kingpin Chang Jung Lin from Taiwan versus our very own. Paset mo kay Bat. 
magandang gabi sa iyo Kelvin Gomez Naniyong. Ayan, at uh, sakto yung pagpasok mo at napasok yung 7 ni George Ong. <laughs> so ito guys, uh, muli po tayong iikot dito at magkakaroon ng pagkakataon si Joseph David, ang unang nakatungtong sa puro. Pero syempre dadaan muna tayo sa ano sa ating player number 7 na si Jordan Lee looking for his third win. And pagkatapos nun, kung sino pong mananalo sa kanila ay tatapat kay Joseph David. George Ong with an 8-9 handicap against Jordan Lee. Break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Mm, looks to be a dry break. Nothing down. Jordan Lee, one of the newest members here at Sharks. Bago man sa paningin, eh, nag-champion na rin itong si Jordan Lee. Okay. Clears the six. Has a good look here on the blue two. Okay, so decides to take this three ball to the corner. So far, so good. This is from a dry break. Galing kay Zimatarzi. Meron tira sa uno. Tatlong bola na lang pong natitira dito para kay Jordan Lee. Oh, misses his mark there. Over runs position. But he could still take the seven to the side. Nice run out from Jordan Lee. Player number seven, inubos ang mga bola sa mesa. Wow. So dito po nag-umpisa yan. Dry break from Zimatarzi. Open shot on the one. Inubos ni Jordan Lee. And up next, to challenge, to challenge Jordan Lee will be the dreamer Joseph David, um, a guy on the hill. So, tina natin, this could be potentially our last track. So, stay with us. Babalik po kami. Secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Black Tiger vs. Fire Dragon coming soon only here at the Mecca of Pool. On the hill na rin itong si Joseph David at mukhang eto na siguro posible ang kanyang pagkakataon na masungkit itong 10-man ring game. Joseph David coming in to challenge Jordan Lee with a 7-9 handicap. That break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Good scatter, although the one ball is far from easy. So you may have to play safe. Sabi ni Mr. Jose Haen, tapusin mo na, dreamer. Magko-commentator pa ako dito sa championship sa palarong pambayan ng pura sa basketball. Aba. <laughs> so, inaabangan lang talaga ni Mr. Jose Haen kung sino ang magta-champion dito. Oops. Ooh, that was pretty close. He was attacking the seven ball, which is his handicap ball. Shot worth taking. That was pretty close. Kinabahan si player number seven. <laughs> okay. Another safety. Uh-oh. This is not going to work. One ball tracking towards the nine. Is he going to do something about it? Looks like he's going for this combination. This is all or nothing. Jordan Lee is on foul one. He could play safe, but he's going for this 1-9 to the corner. Look at this. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> Player number two wins our second event. Congratulations kay The Dreamer Joseph David. Nakita niya talaga yung kombinasyon. Yung uno, lumapit towards the nine and he took on a very hard combination. Tinan natin yung nangyari. He attacked the seven which is his handicap ball. Pero ito, nag-scratch si player number seven. Nagtapat ang uno nuebe. Napasok ni Joseph David. And that's how it's done. Sabi ni Trish Durbin. Hi there Trish. There you go, guys. We have our winner. Joseph David wins the day. Okay. So, ayan, mga Sharkinatics. Susunod na po ang ating third event. Our final event. Our second day in uh, Bad Koy and uh, Kyle Amoroto. Huwag po kayong aalis. Abangan nyo po yung mga notifications nyo sa inyong mga cellphones para wala kayong mamimiss out na action. Babalik po kami. At ito po ang ating mga numero. Dos Nuebe Gs 297. Congratulations muli kay The Dreamer Joseph David from Quezon City. May pahabol na shoutout si Fritz Ivan Rodriguez. Shoutout. Sabi niya dito, sayang Dennis Po bawi sa next tournament. Definitely si uh, Dennis Po babawi talaga. Alright. Shoutout muli po sa lahat ng uh, mga viewers natin. Magandang gabi po at susunod na po ang ating main event. Huwag po kayong aalis.
Good evening, Shark Addicts from around the globe. This is our final event for today. Second day ng laban ng Bad Koi versus the Sharp Shooter, Johan Chua versus Kyle Amoroto in the game of nine ball. Guys, kahapon nag-start po tayo na magandang pinakita ni Kyle and towards the end talagang uh, pinakita niya ang kanyang taglay na galing. Nag-end po tayo with a score of 30 to 17, a 13 game advantage for Kyle Amoroto. And tingnan natin uh, kung anong mangyayari dito sa ating second event. Malamang at makakahabol pa rin ang bad koy na si Johan Chua. Bago po tayo magsimula, let's discuss our rules. Rule number one, WPA nine ball rules will be in effect. Fouls will be called on all balls. Push out pa rin po after every break. At merong 30 second shot clock pa rin po tayo at may 10 second extension per player. Five jump shots lang po ang allowed per player per day. So ngayon, mara-replenish na po yung kanilang jump shots na ginamit kahapon. So balik po sa lima. Each player will get a 5-minute timeout per day. This coming December 19 to 22, Sharks Invitational Battle for Supremacy para sa ating mga top 32 players. Will it be Kyle once again or will it be somebody else? Abangan po natin yan. At sa darating na December 10 to 12, race the 63, the Kaiser from Germany, Ralf Suke, will be up against the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. Malapit na po rin yan. Ilang tulog na lang. And of course, sa darating na December 15 and 17 naman, 15 to 17, another three-night event. This time, he's gonna be up against the bad koi, Johan Chua. Coming soon, Fire Dragon versus Kingpin, Chang Jung Lin, Baseth Mokaybat. And the Fire Dragon will also be up against the Black Tiger, Carlo Biado. Malapit na rin po itong maganap. The very much awaited Robocop versus Fire Dragon Battle of the Money Game Kings coming soon. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Here comes Johan Chua for the break, looking to catch up from last night's final score. This break is brought to us by Andy Premier. Still going for the same tactic here. He doesn't want the scattered layout. He's going to be always wanting to engage Kyle Amoroto into uh, a safety game. So push out muna dito. Okay. So ito, batiin natin ang ating mga magaganda at mga nagsisigwapuhang viewers from around the world. We have Alfredo Angelo De Castro. Good evening to you. Fred Sanadara. Angelo Angelito Esquelito from Boracay Island. Wow. Make Berranque. Yeah, rooting for the bad boy. We've got Liam Sorima rooting for Kyle Amoroto. And we've got Onin Obagit from Danao. Okay. Danao City? May Danao City, no? Tebo Mendoza. Shout out to uh, Tebo. And he's rooting for Anton. Kaso nga lang, wala siyang laro ngayon. Uh, well, pretty soon sana makabalik muli or magkaroon ng isang set dito si Anton Raga. Raymond Miskosa from Japan. Ayan, sabi niya dito, tuloy-tuloy mo na to. Kyle Amoroto. Ayan, well, meron po siyang 13 game advantage over Johan Chua. Napaka 
tough yung task dito para kay Johan. It's always gonna be a slow start. Lalo na kung ganito yung break ng ating players. Mga soft break muna sila dito. Well, as for Kyle Amoroto, parang ang gusto niya laging sargo, kinakalat na niya yung mga bola. Kasi alam niya, yung advantage ng pag-run out nasa kanya. So far, yun naman, yun naman talaga yung uh, nangyayari. Safety behind those pile of balls. And uses the five. Yes, Mr. Tebo Mendoza from uh, Talisay Cebu. Itong si Anton Raga. And natutuwa na rin ako na, na makita muli ang ating mga Anton Raga fans. Alam nyo namang natigal si Anton dito and then nung last week or a few weeks ago, uh, few weeks ago nakabalik siya dito at nakakuha ulit ng isang pagkapanalo against Jericho Banyares. And of course, we've got Mr. Oben Sena. Shout out daw kay Kyle Amoroto. Yan, number one dealer ng J Flower Cues, etong si Oben Sena. Maraming naghahanap actually, Mr. Oben, sa ating YouTube. Mga nagtatanong about yung J Flower Cue. At sinabi ko naman, hanapin ka. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this seems to be a manageable layout. Kailangan lang gawa ng paraan itong 8. Ben Sent Ito si Lee Ben Sentino from Bohol Magandang gabi sa'yo Wow, nice shot there Not sure if he was trying to hit the 8 Kasi problema pa rin tong 8 So he could probably prep for a, for a bank combination, maybe. Let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, so safety using the nine. Okay. Paolo Hamero sa amin niya dito. Sana Anton Raga versus uh, The Cobra. Si Jeffrey Ignacio next time. Marami, pong, marami po tayong panahon uh, next year. So sana marinig ng ating management. Maganda labanan ang Cobra and ang Dragon. Diba? 
Ayan. Arvin Tuwiko Porsyunkula from Paete, Laguna. Good evening sa'yo. Sani Coro from Mandawe City, Cebu. Magandang gabi din. Alright. At magandang umpisa dito para kay Johan Shua getting his first win for our second day. That's 18 racks for Johan Shua. Next to break, it's going to be the sharpshooter from Taytay Rizal, Kyle Amoroto. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Call Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Wag po natin kakalimutan sa darating na December 10 na po ito hanggang a 12. Race to 63, the Kaiser vs. Black Tiger, Ralph Suke from Germany vs. Carlo Biado from the Philippines. Still a steep hill to climb para kay Johan Chua. Medyo malaki po ang lamang dito ni Kyla Moroto na nagsimula po kahapon. So natapos po tayo kahapon ng meron siyang 13 rack advantage. Pero yung makwentuhan ko lang kayo ako anong nangyari kahapon. So both players were breaking hard. So parang hindi pa nila masyadong naiisip kung ano yung kailangan gawin para manalo. Tapos toward to the middle of the game, biglang nag-iba-iba na yung kanilang tactic dito. Si Johan Chua is breaking very soft kasi ayaw niyang kumalat yung mga bola dito dahil advantage ni Kyla Moroto ang kalat na mga bola dahil sa kanyang uh, run-out ability. Napakatikas ng, ng, ano, ng pocketing kaya tinawag na sharpshooter itong si Kyle Ang ginagawa naman ni Johan ngayon, eh, kapag siya yung sumasargo, soft break lang, talagang uh, pinipiga niya tong si Kyle na magkamali at para makuha yung advantage dito sa mesa. Magandang gabi kina Roland Albutra. Ayan, sabi niya naman, Carlo versus Anton naman sa susunod. We also have Lance Joaquin De Leon shout out from Tai Tai. Pinakapogi daw ng sidekick ni Kyle Amoroto. Napa. 